Washington. To the floor show and what it means for stocks, Tom Hayes and Phil Flint. Tom, you grab this one first. Okay, well, Liz, the good news is the president is obviously feeling better with the tweeting. The bad news is we may not get a stimulus package. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think what we are likely to get is a, an executive order for $380 billion that was unspent from the first package. You know, if you look at this package, Liz, we're going to have negative 3.5% GDP for 2020. The size of this package that they wanted to do was between 8 to 11% of GDP. It's like filling in a $750 billion pothole with a couple trillion dollars worth of asphalt. It might be more than we need, albeit we do need to get support to those who need it the most. You can do that with an executive order. And with the second stimulus check, which would be about $300 billion, the biggest beneficiary, the trade here, would be banks. Banks are over-reserved by about $23 billion. The study from the National Bureau of Economic Research said 60% of the last stimulus check went to savings and paying down debt. Only 40% went to spending. So if you gave that assistance to people, uh, they would get out there, they would pay off their debt, and the banks could release those reserves, and these companies would skyrocket. So that's, that's really how we're looking about things right now. I'm sure they'll get something done probably after the election. But in the meantime, the surprise could potentially be another executive order. Congress approved that money. The president, there's 200 years of precedent, may have discretion over how to spend it here. Okay, but look at look for for example Boeing. Boeing is a Dow loser here, down six percent. Uh, you know they've got other issues. Apple down two point six percent. We know that October thirteenth, Apple is going to announce its new phone, its new suite of phones. In fact, uh, you know I, I think it's going to be an exciting day, as, as these unveils always are. Phil Flynn, what would you be buying on a day like today, where people have been waiting for an entry point to pick up some stocks on sale? Well, you know, I think I think with the, the breaking news, I mean, I was going to say, you know, consumer staples would still be the place to be. You know, your Clorox has done really well because it looks like people are catching COVID-19. You're going to continue, you know, wanting to be have clean hands and things, you know, and, and Home Depot. But I think the bigger issue, I mean, with, with this, I think Tom is right. The good thing is the election isn't that far away until we can get the stimulus and the president can do things. But um, the... The market was really prepared for some type of stimulus deal over the last 24 hours. They've been teased with the talks, uh, and so this is a big disappointment. I think right now the way that I would play this um, is is I, w I would bet big on Apple on the pullback. I think a lot of good things are going to come out of that. Uh, if you notice, one of the stocks that are bringing it down today is is uh, Beats and a couple or not Beats, yeah. but the other. Uh, things that they're not going to be selling in the store because yes. they're coming off their own yes. issues. Logitech. So that's why into the market yep. today. Logitech and, and that and Bose, of course. Okay. But uh, yeah, I think at the end of the day, this is a big shock to the system with the stimulus. The market was hoping they get get something done. Okay. Uh, I, I think the market's going to be disappointed for a while. Well, at the end of the trading day is 37 minutes away. Tom and Phil, great to have you both. Thank you very much.